I'm very happy to be here in Ahmed. I think that um, the isolation method, if I can use that word, is something that we have to be very aware of and very um, uh, careful about because we see in all Europe that uh, the d democracy is threatened. So what what's happening to Mr. Öcalan and what's happening to other political prisoners can actually be a fact also in Europe. And we see that this is a fact in some European countries already. Uh, and in my country I, we have changed uh, terrorist laws and things like that. So I'm a little bit afraid that in a couple of years we might have a serious situation in Sweden as well. Well, I think, I mean, Mr. Öcalan is a symbol for many, many people. Um, so I, I, some of, of the people who are supporting him, and many support him because of that, his ideology and, and so on. But we also have to understand that there are many people <coughs> Su supporting him, I don't know, but are very um, disturbed by the fact that he has not got his rights. And that is very important to, to talk about, that he and other political prisoners are deprived their rights, human rights and right as a, rights as a prisoner. And it's important to, to think about that despite what ideology you have, despite what opinion you have, that is not a reason for you to be prisoned. And when you um, are being prisoned because of your opinion or because you are defending someone who has an opinion, uh, you, you cannot be deprived of your rights and you, are, you have to be um, certain of the fact that you will get a, a secure um, um, process, for instance. And, and you cannot be sure that you have that in Turkey today uh, if you, your name is Öcalan or if your name is something else, you cannot be sure that you have a secure process. Uh, this is an extreme, uh, but I also know that it happens to other prisoners in, in uh, Turkey. We have been, heard, been, been listening to people today about this isolation method and I think it's very important to talk about it, to, to inform people, to, to create a pressure on the Turkish uh, regime that they have to uh, give him and others the right to meet lawyers and families. And I guess the pressure is very, very important. I don't know if we can do make it end, but um, we were here last year and we made a report and we, we will make a report this year to, to, about the situation, about how, what people say that we meet. And we will have um, presentations of that report when we get back home. And I think the most important thing we can do is give information, give knowledge and also um, make a movement uh, among uh, colleagues, lawyer colleagues um, in, in Europe. My message would be that, that it's important to follow laws, uh, international laws, national laws. And I know that there are uh, national laws in Turkey that are broken when you're not uh, being allowed to, to see your lawyer and, and family. So the, it's very important that the court are independent from the regime and that the courts follow the laws. Um, <coughs> I would say keep on fighting for, for everyone's uh, human rights. Uh, and for, for prison people's human rights. And that is regarding Mr. Öcalan and also all other people who are jailed uh, because of uh, who they are and what they believe in.